From the very beginning, I realized I saw the world differently than everyone else. That didn't sit well with some people. But I wasn't for everyone. I guess they were always scared that I'd be a psycho. Cruella cuenta el origen de la icónica villana fashionista de 101 Dálmatas, interpretada espectacularmente por Emma Stone, quien aprendemos sueña con ser una diseñadora de modas en su juventud y que al buscar una oportunidad con una de sus ídolos, la baronesa interpretada por la mismísima Emma Thompson, encuentra tanto a una maestra que la introduce al mundo de la moda, así como una gran rival. Tuve el honor de platicar con las dos temas de cómo la creatividad es uno de los temas principales de la película, pero antes de pasar a la entrevista te pido que te suscribas al canal y le des like a este video porque me ayudas mucho a que te siga trayendo contenido como este. Ahora sí, vamos con Thompson y Stone. Hola, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están ustedes? Muy bien, gracias, gracias. Y oh estamos God, muy agradecidas. Tu acento es perfecto. Es increíble. Es increíble. Tengo tres palabras. So I have a quick question. Uh, how did they identify you on the set? Did they call you uh, Emma T and Emma S? <laughs> did, well, they, they call me Emily because my real name is Emily. So it actually makes it kind of easy, but also they can do Stone and Thompson. I think they did say Stone and Toms, I bet. Oh, well, that helps. I'll call you Stone and Thompson. Okay, perfect. Uh, <laughs> let me start with you, Thompson. <laughs> let me give you some advice. You can't care about anyone else. Everyone else is an obstacle. You care what an obstacle wants or feels, you're dead. If I'd cared about anyone or thing, I might have died. You have the talent. Whether you have the killer instinct is the big question. I love that the movie is about creative professional women. And say what you want about the Baroness, but she's a kick-ass businesswoman. What are some things that we can learn about her to implement it in our professional life? Well, you could learn that um, she's probably been forced to um, cut out everyone else in order to actually pursue her goal of being a creative artist because she was born at a time when that was not allowed particularly, certainly not in the world of fashion, which has been You know, ruled in many areas of uh, uh, by men, um, like everywhere. So yeah, she probably had a big fight on her hands. And then you could also learn a sort of opposing lesson in the sense that if she had joined up with young Estella and Cruella, um, they could have made a fashion house to rival no other. So you kind of wish that that's what she'd chosen to do. And you wish that whenever a woman gets to the top, the first thing she does is make space for other women. And that doesn't always happen. So um, yeah, that's my uh, recommendation. Well, that's beautiful. <laughs> so, what's your story? What was your name? Cruella. And uh, Stone, let me ask you, uh, speaking of being creative, a lot of the movies also about being creative as a child. and. Uh, I think that many of us that grew up being creative were misunderstood and sometimes bullied. What's your advice for parents and for teachers to help these kids that are creative and to, to give the best of themselves? Oh, that is such a sweet and wonderful question. Um, you know, I was lucky. My mom was very um, understanding of me because I was a very anxious Kid. I was I was creative definitely and, and loved acting but I was very very anxious and so I think the thing that was most helpful was that she she really tried to understand me rather than fit me into a different shape and that was I know not all kids are that lucky they're they're kind of told how to be and and what to do and uh, you know even kind of like a line of work to follow And um, she really, she really let me kind of uh, lead the way, and she helped me lean more into my passions. So I guess it would be to listen to your kids because a lot of the time they're smarter than you, and they kind of come in knowing who they are. So if you can listen to them and help facilitate that, um, I think that you know it's, it's. I guess I would say that that's, you're going to be a great, great mom. Thanks, Sims. Be a great mom. You already are. Don't worry, there's lots more bad things coming.
and our time is up but i hope emma that you come back in 10 15 years to do the 101 dalmatian sequel because i want to see that <laughs> <laughs> And it's a great movie. Thank you so much to both. It's an, it's an honor and I can't wait to share it with everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Adios. Thank you so Adios. much. Adios. Muchas gracias. Adios.